Hi, this is Jamie Staley, Director of Christian Education at Fifth Avenue Presbyterian Church. And I'm here with my son, Mikhail, today, and we are getting ready to do something completely different. Worship from home. I don't know about you, but this is not something we're used to, right, Mikhail? I know. All right, it's a big change, and sometimes unexpected changes can be a little bit scary. But the reason that we are worshiping from home for the next few weeks is in order to help our friends and our neighbors to stay healthy. So give yourselves a big high five for your part in helping our friends and neighbors to not get sick. And then go wash your hands, please. <laughs> our story that we are going to be reading this morning is coming from this children's book, which is called Children of God, and it's a children's storybook Bible. We are, our story is called Jesus Becomes a Servant and is from John 13. You're welcome to look at the picture while I read or close your eyes and take the story in. Jesus and the disciples gathered in Jerusalem. Their feet were dirty from walking the dusty roads, telling people about God's dream. The disciples started arguing over which one of them was the greatest. Jesus got up and tied a towel around his waist. He took a basin of water and began to wash the feet of his friends and to dry them on the towel. Jesus' friends were shocked. That's a servant's job, they shouted. But Jesus quietly continued washing their feet. When it was Peter's turn, he jumped up. Master, you will never wash my feet. Then you cannot be my disciple, said Jesus. Lord, cried Peter, wash my feet, my hands, my head, all of me. After Jesus had finished washing their feet, he took off the towel and sat down again. Do you understand what I have done? He said. You call me Lord and teacher, but I have washed your feet like a servant. You must follow my example. The leader is the servant of all. You must be as servants to each other. No one is more important than anyone else. I want you to love one another the way I love you. Now we are going to invite you to do four things with your family today. Adults, you may want to write these down. There, there are four. Um, and you can choose as few or as many as you would like to do with your family. First, we would invite you to wonder together. I wonder how you would feel if Jesus washed your feet. Then we will also invite you to share with one another. What is the most humbling task you have ever been asked to do? And what would you do if someone important said, let me do that instead? We will also invite you to pray together as a family, thinking of all the people who serve you, teachers, family members, community helpers. You can do a popcorn prayer, uh, thanking God for all of these people and jumping in whenever you want to pray for those people. And finally, we'll give you a chance to respond to this story with action together as a family. Nowadays, our shoes get dirtier than our feet. So grab some cleaning supplies and your shoes and together as a family, spend some time cleaning your shoes and talking about what this story means to you as a family. And if you find shoes that don't fit, give those away to an organization that needs them. Thanks for joining us. Let's pray real quick before we head out. And please, if you have time, join our Facebook group. We'll be posting a lot of other resources and ideas that you can do for family formation as we are moving forward in the next couple of weeks. That is Family Ministries at FAPC, and you'll find us as a Facebook group. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear God, Dear God, please help us to be servants. Please help us to be servants. Just like Jesus. Just like Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye-bye.